Record-breaking heat appears to be the new norm. June of 2019 was the hottest June ever experienced around the world. The average temperature worldwide was higher than what we've seen in the last 140 years since the agency started keeping records. And nine of the ten hottest Junes ever experienced have all happened between 2010 and now. It should be a wake-up call that we, we can see what's happening now with climate change and it should be telling us that we need to act uh, dramatically, and rapidly, quickly, ambitiously to do whatever we can to limit the impacts of climate change to stop this from getting worse. The first half of 2019 has been the second hottest year to date and we're now seeing more and more direct consequences. A heat wave in North Korea in the last few years has led to rice, maize and other crops withering in the fields. Record-breaking heat and lack of rain has left fields dry and affecting the irrigation systems. North Korea has seen food shortfalls of about 1.4 million tons in 2019, leading people to rationing food supplies, starvation, malnutrition and even deaths. In particular, you know, sustenance farmers who've been relying upon the land, relying upon a stable climate, are impacted the most dramatically. But also, uh, large food supplies in, in major countries are also uh, being impacted as well. By the year 2030, it's being predicted that climate change will lead to about 250,000 deaths per year from malnutrition, malaria, diarrhea and heat stress around the world. In France, farmers have been asked to stop harvesting after hundreds of hectares of fields caught fire in July due to intense heat. And South Africa is expecting to harvest 20% less maize in 2019 compared to previous seasons because of heat and droughts caused by climate change. Our understanding is that uh, in the forthcoming so-called lean season uh, in southern Africa, which is a, the lean season is the period between harvest, i.e. when uh, the availability of food from the previous harvest has run down, but before the next harvest kicks in, um, in southern Africa, uh, we're going to have more than 40 million people uh, who are going to be extremely food insecure in that window. Brooks says the rising temperature trends that are being seen around the globe is a symptom of a larger climate change issue. I hope that we can now accept that, that, that climate change is happening. We don't need to spend more time studying whether it's happening, how, you know, what we need to do is start to talk about, about action. Brooks and Burke both feel that action from the government will help reverse the damage brought on by climate change as a global community.